Happy Friday, everyone. It's Pastor Rachel Dietz from St. John Lutheran Church in Moton, and welcome to my front porch. I have today uh, a reading from a book that Travis was given called Every Moment Holy, if you can read it upside down and backwards, but you know it's legit because of the shiny gold leaf on the side of the pages. So this is from a liturgy called uh, A Liturgy for Those Flooded by Too Much Information, especially appropriate today. In a world so wired and interconnected, our anxious hearts are pummeled by the endless barrage of troubling news. We are daily aware of more grief, O oh Lord, than we can rightly consider of more suffering and scandal than we can respond to, of more hostility, hatred, horror, and injustice than we can engage with compassion. But you, O oh Jesus, are not disquieted by the news of cruelty and terror and war. You are neither anxious nor overwhelmed. You carried the full weight of the suffering of a broken world when you hung upon the cross, and you carry it still. When the cacophony of universal distress unsettles us, reminds us that we are but small and finite creatures, never designed to carry the vast abstractions of great burdens, for our arms are too short and our strength is too small. Justice and mercy, healing and redemption are your great labors. And yes, it is your good pleasure to accomplish such works through your people. But you have never asked any of one of us to undertake more than your grace will enable us to fulfill. And now we pause for our friendly mailman whose name is Russ. Hi there, good morning. Would you like to wave? Hi, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> All right, have a good day. I think of them and pray for them because our male folks are still hard at work. So back to our liturgy. And yes, it is your good pleasure to accomplish such works through your people. But you have never asked any of us to undertake more than your grace will enable us to fulfill. Guard us then from shutting down our empathy or walling off our hearts because of the glut of unactionable misery that floods our awareness. You have many children in many places around this globe. Move each one of our hearts to compassionately respond to their needs that intersect with our actual lives. In all places, your body might actively be addressing the pain and brokenness of this world. Each of us liberated and empowered by your spirit to fulfill the small part of your redemptive work assigned to us. Give us discernment in the face of troubling news reports. Give us discernment to know when to pray, when to speak, when to act, and when to simply shut off our screens and our devices and to sit quietly, casting the burdens of this world upon the strong shoulders of the one who alone is able to bear them up. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you soon.